when I entered a toxic relationship, I was obviously eating my feelings. I pretty much thought I was at rock bottom. Finally, I started thinking I really need to change things. I really need to fix my life. No matter what my circumstances were on the outside, I finally had to deal with what was going on inside. I was almost 400 pounds. I have lost 240 pounds. I feel like I'm finally free. I'm gonna wipe off some of this sweat and I'm gonna go get dressed up and do a photo shoot. I think I deserve it. There she is. I would say I was heavy. I was, you know, as they would say, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> say like a little bit chunky you know and I definitely crept up in my early 20s a little bit due to the weight I remember so many times going to hospitals doctors and all these things you know I can't breathe properly my ears hurt I'm getting headaches this is happening that's happening my knees hurt and they would just turn me away and say you're heavy you're overweight some of the contributing factors to gaining all of my weight was basically having terrible, terrible relationships. When I entered a toxic relationship, I was obviously eating my feelings. When it wasn't working, I would eat. It was just the only solution I could find. I love being a makeup artist. So there was this one time where I actually had a client and I couldn't get through her gate. And the next time I went there, she actually had to have it removed so that I could get in. I hadn't realized I was actually affecting people's lives that way. Mentally, I was destroyed, but smiling through it. I pretty much thought I was at rock bottom and I wasn't gonna get back up. Finally, I started thinking I really need to change things. When it really, really hit was when lockdown happened and I had to sit down and do absolutely nothing and look myself in the mirror and realize that no matter what my circumstances were on the outside, I finally had to deal with what was going on inside. I don't wanna go back to that sad woman that was literally sitting in the basin eating some food. When I finally took to YouTube and uh, started looking at what different doctors were saying, so I went straight into keto. Now, as I searched a little bit deeper, I realized intermittent fasting is what I also needed. I've been OMAD fasting for the entire duration of this time. OMAD fasting, which is one meal a day, and people oh my gosh, you're starving yourself. It's not, I still get all of my calories just at one sitting. As I started losing the weight, naturally I started getting energy. So now I'm just going to get ready and go to the gym because I'm dying to work out. So today we're gonna focus on your endurance, okay. your strength, and your power. You ready? Oh yes, I'm here for the power. Yes, let's yes, 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 let's go. Let's do it. I was almost 400 pounds. Now I'm actually 148 pounds. I have lost 240 pounds. I, I knew you'd come in and you'd do well. Okay. But you exceeded my expectations today. Woo! I will say that. Yes, Thank I'm impressed. Well done. Thank you so well done. much. Keep the work going. Thank you. I will. I will for sure. <laughs> now that I'm feeling amazing and I'm super pumped, I'm going to wipe off some of this sweat and I'm going to go get dressed up and do a photo shoot. I think I deserve it. There she is, Miss Pureness. I'm here. I've arrived. Woo, oh my god. You ready? Listen, am I ready? I was I'm so ready. I can't believe this is happening. It's, it's really hitting me right now that I've actually done what I didn't think I could do. And here I am today to prove it to myself. I've known her at her heaviest and I know her as she is now and I've seen a huge drastic change. I really commend her for what she's done. Oh my gosh, it went amazingly and I saw some of the shots. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. I it, it is it me? Is it really me? Like I'm so excited. I can't wait to see them like on big screen. My weight loss has definitely changed my life in my mental space, my self-love, my physical abilities. I know I'm happy where I am right now and I feel good inside. If you are at that pivotal part where you've reached rock bottom, look at it, assess it, be genuinely honest with yourself, and then it will all fall into place.